What's up YouTubers? In this video I'll show you how to install Windows 8 on a USB flash drive. It's very similar for a CD but actually it's exactly the same for a CD but this is basically for USB or USB devices. Alright so first of all first of all you go to this link right here I'll put in the description msdn.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash windows forward slash apps forward slash default if you just type in msdn.microsoft.com it will be a different website so make sure you enter all that or go to description and then you go ahead and go over to downloads right here after that you have three versions you can download once again this is a developer's preview so there's going to be errors there. it's, it may not work on your system There's you might, you might get blue screens and that's probably all you're going to see so you get the developer preview with tools that's basically for people who want to improve Windows 8 basically people who who know what they're doing you have um, Windows 8 uh, preview 64 bit and 32 bit if you don't know which one to download I'll download 32 bit but since my system's a 64 bit I'll go ahead and download the 64 bit one developers preview and then go ahead and put save file and I'm gonna let that download for now and you're gonna need a few things you're gonna need a flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of um, free space or you're gonna have to back it up you're, you're gonna have to format the the flash drive first of all and secondly you're gonna need a Windows 7 USB slash DVD um, creator and I'll go over that once this finishes downloading in about 30 minutes also one more thing to note is that once you install this you're you you have to, you can't uninstall Windows 8 you you're gonna have to format your whole computer so I wouldn't do this on your primary computer because it might not even work and I wouldn't install software like Microsoft Office or any of the, any of that crap because you're gonna have to format your computer once you install it you can't go back to Windows 7 just one more note and then 30 more minutes hurry up but all right so far we have about nine nine eight hundred and fifty megabytes of four gigs and so this is oh, the system I'm gonna be installing Windows 8 on it's a Dell Inspiron 1545 it's a little over a year old and um, as you can see here I have a couple of storage options I mean, I have, I have like two 16 gig flash drives. I have two of them right there. You can see that. And this is the hard drive I'm installing it on since this laptop uses a, a serial ATA interface for. I'm going to be installing on this, this old little Hitachi hard drive. And I'm going to boot from, well, I'm not going to boot from USB. I'm going to boot from hard drive USB, basically. That's how I'm going to do it. It's still USB, I guess you can say. I'm not gonna boot from flash drive like the. Well, I just I'm just gonna say USB on the title then. But um, these actually have very important data on them, and then this is what I'm gonna be installing the Windows 8 on. And this has about this is a two terabyte Western Digital My Book Green Edition. Inside of here is a green hard drive, and I have about. 500 gigabytes of data on it so I can't I'm gonna have to format it I'm not formatting any of that and then this this just has pictures it's about three it's about 500 gigabytes also it's a 500 gigabyte and there's just pictures and stuff so I can back it up to this one and and, and boot from this right here so once again you're gonna have to format your crap so Windows 8 on here and I don't know what else to say back to downloading 1.1 1 .1 gigabytes come on so while this is still downloading about 20 minutes left um, I'm gonna go ahead and install the Windows 7 CD DVD um, utility by Microsoft so go to Google and type in Windows N D O W S Windows USB C D 
Whoa, that's not it. My bad. You have to type in Windows 7. Windows 7. CD. DVD. I'll provide the link in the description. And then here it is. Um, Windows 7 DVD. CD. No, just type in... What am I doing? USB. USB. DVD download tool. There it is. Click that. And then here it is. Microsoft Store. The first link. And then you click that. And it should take you to Microsoft. This is my first time doing it. I'm not doing a pre pre recording or anything. So here it is. I'm guessing you check out. No. Oh, here it is. You scroll down and click this. Yeah, and then you just run it. Save file. And then let that download. If it'll open and it's already done downloading. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And then um run. And then it's preparing to install. And here it is. Click next. Install. And let it do its thing while still downloading. 18 minutes left. My internet 17 megabits per second download and it's basically like 2 megabytes per second so basically my internet is maxed out go to my task manager my CPU is like really high and my download couldn't be any higher for my wireless network connection it's just pure about 40% using usage and still downloading and it's done installing completed the installation click finish and then um, go ahead and go to start and here it is it's already right there click download or click that and click run of course and then I'm guessing after after that's done downloading here's the, yeah here it is so you save that to wherever you want I guess like in my case it's gonna be that hard drive right there and after I install it to that I choose source file and put this file in there click next I'm, I'm gonna do it when it's done downloading it's oh it's easier I guess 16 minutes so I got oh no screensaver no so I got about two minutes left almost there and I just finished copying every single thing, all 12 gigabytes of it, onto my desktop. On this computer, I didn't need my other hard drive. So, I can go ahead, I'm going to go ahead, I'm doing this all live. Everything you see is live, my first time, I didn't rehearse this. I'm going to go ahead and go to this, oh, it's not 500 gigabytes, like I said, it's, it's only about 250, 250 gigabytes. Anyways, I'm going to delete everything out of here. Delete. It's deleting them off the hard drive. And still doing it. And that's only like half of it. Here's the other half. Oh, there's there it is. And then not only that, I'm gonna empty it out of my recycle bin. Cause oh it creates a hidden folder in your hard drive. Windows does that, and I'm gonna empty it. And then see, it's still deleting out of the hard drive. Even though it was in my desktop recycling all 12 gigabytes of it almost but um got a minute left and I'm just doing this so it won't interfere with anything on here so yep wait for it to finish Alright, that's done. So my hard drive should be empty right now. I'm going to wait for this to finish. 5, 4, 3, 1, 0, 6. Scanning. Done. Alright, it's done. You saw the whole 3.6 gigabytes get downloaded. I'm doing this live once again. My first time doing it. Go to my, I'm going to go back to that tool. And yes and then I'm gonna use that ISO file I just downloaded and find that folder where I saved it to in this case it happens to be a separate download folder right here 
should be there scroll up right there and there it is all 3.6 gigs of it and click OK and then it should just do it by itself next and then please select the media I'm use USB device and then no compatible all oh, you gotta be shitting me huh well I did that backup stuff for no reason once again I'm doing this live so I guess I'm gonna use my flash drive oh this is gonna suck oh man I'm doing this live once again eject that go ahead this is retarded can't believe I can't use this stupid crap and then I'm gonna go ahead and back up everything on this and this is my school drive I'm gonna have my life on here basically let's see and some music and crap control no I'm just gonna copy see if see if I can do anything and then I'm just gonna paste on my desktop Oh yeah, these Sandus cruisers are a little bit slow. Oh man, let's see, 2.6 gigabytes, and it's gonna take I. Oh, that's faster than I expected. Oh well. And then I'm gonna go here and click refresh, and there it is. So I'm gonna do it once this finishes wait for that all right we got about 10 seconds left and 15 megabit megabytes that's about 120 megabits per second so you see those YouTube videos with my super fast internet speed with 100 megabits per second that's 15 megabytes there's online converters you can use so I'm done with that you just saw the finished I uh, I'm gonna see if I can keep the files on there and I'm gonna use this um, flash drive and begin copying. And of course, I have to format it. Oh, this makes me sad. But it's nothing but schoolwork. Oh well, erase. Yes, I'll erase. And you have to make sure your computer can boot from USB first of all before you even start off. Start all this. It should be a more common thing because um these laptops and stuff are starting to come with no CD drives since it's starting to become all solid now so it's still formatting takes a little bit it's probably deleting all my crap my schoolwork important stuff programs music in school and now it's copying files all four gigs of it this is gonna take a while one percent I'll come back when it's like 100 99 percent this flash off's working hard Once again, I'm going to do this live, so. I mean, it's a developer tool. You shouldn't use it. I mean, you should know how to install it, so. It's just, I don't know. Well, it's done. Backup completed. Now, I'm going to do this live once again for the 60th million time. <laughs> I'm going to click start over. <laughs> wonder what that button does. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, as soon as that stops flashing, I'm going to inject it. I'm ejecting it or you can go ahead and unplug it manually. I'm going to do it so in Windows doesn't interfere with it when you shut it down. So here we go. Oh, I'm going to shut it down first. 
I gotta swap hard drives. I'm doing this live, so go ahead and take this out of the way. Let it shut down. I just installed Ubuntu on it on this computer yesterday. Not this, not the hard drive, but that hard drive. I already formatted it. There's no partition on this whatsoever right now. So let this finish shutting down. Say goodbye. Unplug this. Doing it live. Take this right here. Whoa. Upside down. And get the screwdriver. I prepared myself for this. Make sure I don't lose these screws. Inspiron 1545. Inspiron. Alright, go ahead and take this out. My lovely Western Digital. I love Western Digital. Seagate's alright. Western Digital Blue, Western Digital Green, and it's this is an older Western Digital. It's not labeled. And I'm going to go ahead and get this Hitachi hard drive without putting the, the little mounting bracket in it. I'm just going to slide it in because it fits perfectly. I, I need to get it out with a screwdriver. Simpler like that. Then screwing back on that mountain. Alright, put it back here and boot from USB. Oh man. Go ahead and plug it in. Don't want power going out once. Install. Alright, open it. Plug back in my speakers. Put my keyboard back up here. Plug in my flash drive. Press a, turn the keyboard on. Press the power button. And then press F12. It's different for everybody. And then here it is. And this is and this hard drive in here right now. It's like when SATA first came out. I'm not even playing. Well, not really. It first came out when it first came out to laptops or something. When it started becoming popular, it's a really loud hard drive. It came from a Toshiba laptop. Got from Black Friday, Friday, 2006, I think, or 2005, 2006. But anyways, go ahead and choose boot from USB storage device. Press enter. And here we go. This is Windows 8. It's very similar to Windows 7 for some reason. The installation. I have a CD of it. So it's booting off the flash drive. It's busy. And it's just, it's doing its thing. Doing this live once again. You can hear the hard drive park its head and all that. This is this hard drive is pretty loud. And it's just like standard Windows basically. This is what Windows 7 looks like when you try to install it. English, yes, that's the only language. English United States and keyboard US. Press next. Install now. Setup starting. This really isn't Windows 8 yet, it's just the installation of it. It's pretty idle. My flash drive is barely being used. The hard drive's not on at all. And basically it's like Windows 7. Except, and then you can go ahead and format your hard drive, let me guess. Yep. I'm press custom. And there it is. There's the hard drive I just put in 60 gigabytes. Drive options, new. Press up as many times as I can. Apply. Yes. And it should create two partitions. Partitions. There it is. Windows 7 makes a 100 megabyte. Windows 8 makes a 350. That's a lot. Click next and let it begin. Just like Windows 7, basically. And then I'm going to do it when 
it reboots. It's going to reboot about where it says installing features or something, so. And here it is. Exactly what I thought. I knew it was going to skip features. Or I didn't know, or not skip it, but install it in two seconds. That's usually what it does from Windows 7 normal installation and updates it shouldn't take more than like 10 seconds or 15 it, it might actually this might be one of the longest ones I don't know no 10-15 seconds is correct and it should reboot from now completing installation reboot in 10 seconds do it do it oh I'm good once again, this is my first time installing Windows 8. So I'm just familiar with the installation since it's very similar to Windows 7. And here it is. Let's see the boot up screen. That's the boot up screen. And then let me guess that little logo down there. There it is. Party like a rock. Getting devices ready. It's probably just installing the basic drivers right now, like the mouse, the graphics, the display, the network. Maybe no. Seems pretty fast. Fell oh, focus. That's better. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and oh no it's restarting I was about to take a picture put it on Facebook hate when it does that it scares me it has like basic audio driver so when the computer starts it makes it loud cluck, like cluck or something yeah you know the brutal scream I'm gonna stop this video and take a picture real quick Alright, I don't think that was the best picture I've ever taken, but, um, right on time. And then, now it's going to ask me to set up my computer, I guess. Um, with the introduction of Windows 8, do I think there will be more touchscreen laptops? In my opinion, no. Why? Because it, I, I think it's too pricey right now. Do I think there will be more tablets running Windows 8? Yes. Yes, of course I will. Because Windows 8 is meant, well, uh, some parts of it is meant to um, be used by a touch screen or a stylus or something like that. But, um, 
I think laptops will just remain the same like this. They won't have touch screens or anything. That is that that is cool. I'm uh so basically you have your setup stuff. Um example home PC, yeah. I'm gonna put test PC. No, I'm just gonna put Charlie. And then dash PC and click next. Here the hard job loading away. There's a little ease of access the icon. Then wireless, of course, set up your wireless. Um choose it. Connect. Hide characters. And then press enter, connect. Basically what Microsoft is trying to do is simplify simplify windows make it simpler easier to use without reading crap and express 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 I like using custom but for this just this I'm gonna use express email address really I guess you have to use your hotmail alright connecting to internet and here it is this is the final screen just like three or four pages to set up enter your password what's that Where do I enter my password? Huh. From my email? I guess. So now it's trying. And there it is. It's creating an account, finalizing settings. let me take another picture so finalizing settings and here it is let me take another picture I'm awesome like that oh man it is Monday and I got homework to do but I'd rather sit here and do this because it's what I love doing I guess not waiting but trying stuff out You can tell I love Logitech stuff. It started out with a, since I'm not doing anything but waiting, I guess I might as well tell how I got this stuff. <laughs> I started out with the M505 mouse with a unifying receiver. You can see that. So then since I have a unifying receiver, I might as well get a keyboard. Full, this is the, basically the the only keyboard on the market I don't think they even sell it anymore but it was on Amazon they do but it was the only keyboard on the market with every single button as a standard keyboard plus extras like this right now if you buy a wireless keyboard maybe the the arrow keys will be put right here or there will be no number lock or something like that or it doesn't have two windows keys or something and then I upgraded to a performance MX mouse so and I have a C910 webcam lovely and it's still doing its little thing there's the desktop oh what it do here it is 
I guess I'm gonna take a picture. Take a picture here. After it loads its stuff, icons. There we go. So I'm gonna Windows. That doesn't mean escape. Nope. Oh, is it Windows desktop? There it is. I didn't see that. So here's the desktop. You can read that. And let's see what Control Shift Escape do. I always use Control Shift Escape. I've been using it since Windows XP. So then when Windows 7 came around, or Windows Vista, I didn't have to deal with that little screen to open Task Manager. I got I was already used to it. So that's the task manager. There's no once again this is a beta, so oh here it is. Performance. That's interesting. Shows you all the stuff. It's really cool. Now what? How do I go back to the Oh so when I hit this button, it goes straight back right here. Okay, so Internet Explorer, let's try that out. That's cool. Here it is. So how do you exit it? Windows? Yeah, you press the Windows key. Okay. So you can open as many as the app. How do you close it then? One skin, uh, this is my first time doing it. I haven't even played around with it yet. So I don't know how to use anything. I think Windows 8 might be a fail. Not for tablets, but a general OS, Windows 7 is probably better. Just my opinion. I don't like this user interface. I like having... See, it's meant to be touch screen. Why, why would you make this icon this big and this one this one? It's so it's easier to access with the touch screen. This isn't a touch screen, so so for the general everyday user, it's gonna be a fail if you don't have a Windows 8 tablet. Weather. Let's try that out. I don't know how to exit any of these apps besides pressing the Windows key. That's cool. I have moving backgrounds. It's just an app basically for an OS. Escape? No, it's Windows. So, what happened to my Internet Explorer? That's weird. So, you can you you can scroll up and down to move sideways, but you still can't use the sideways scroll. It won't do anything. So maybe they need to fix that. Just for some advice, you need to use um you need to enable the sideways scrolling. There is a little taskbar right there for scrolling. You have to scroll up and down to move it. Um, that's really all I can say about it. Come on, you can't really do anything. Might play around with this some more, but right now there's no Windows Movie Maker or anything. How do you skip? This is this is horrible. I want to check the weather. I don't want to have moving backgrounds. I, I already dislike it. This is something new. It's something they changed. Desktop. I need to go to desktop, not control panel. Oh yeah, once you press that button, you can't do anything. So, Windows Explorer. Let's open that up. Might take a while. So it has that little ribbon. It's exactly like Windows Movie, Windows Live Movie Maker. That ribbon and Microsoft Paint for Windows 7. So, so these buttons are going to be bigger, basically for touch screens, and easier to read. Music, no music, sample music, no sample music. That's cool. Uh, okay. Basically, I'm done. Now what? I already dislike it and this is basically all you can do
I wonder if you can alt tab no windows tab oh there's my internet explorer okay so this is what windows tab does and this is what alt tab does alright but how do I close it can no control shift escape and you close it from there I'm guessing so here's the task manager you have see how much memory it's using how much disk it's using how much memory I mean megabits it's used on the network and there it is there's Windows 8 I'm gonna play around around with it some more but let's sh see the shutdown screen that's nice can't find it and I finally loaded up my picture right there for my from my Windows Live I already had set up okay so you can log, log off let's log off my hard drive is idle I don't know what it's doing logging off Windows Live maybe it's pretty quiet Once again, it's a developer preview, so this is what it's going to be, basically. You know what would suck? If it freezes right after I just installed it. What kind of OS is this? Great, just put it to sleep. Alright, so it didn't freeze at least. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you got a bunch of bugs. A bunch of them. But it still sleeps. can't shut it down anywhere that's an ease of access yep okay whoa you know what I'm man this is gonna suck so I'm switching back to Windows 7 it's got some bugs and I just wasted a bunch of time. I mean, I can reboot it, but it seems like a waste already. You know what? I'm not going to force it off. I'm going to unplug it while it's in standby. That's Windows 8 for you. It's basically really, 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 really buggy. Buggy, buggy. And my computer's still on. I'm going to swap the laptops in it. Swap the hard drives anyways. Doing this live. I don't want to force it off. I hate for forcing stuff off. Back to Windows 7. Lovely Windows 7. Mm -hmm. I can get in. I'm going to see what happens when I turn it on. Because it's still on um, Windows, Windows um, 8. Oh, it's still there. You can't hear the hard drive anymore. This is one of the quietest hard drives ever. Yeah, it just froze. I'm gonna turn it off.
Yeah, it won't go on standby now. Since I swapped the hard drive, so I'm gonna force it off. Hate forcing stuff off. Turn it back on. Load up Windows 7. Welcome.